The next colony in Australia was established in South Australia in 1836. Unlike the first two previous colonies, South Australia was also established as a free settlement rather than a penal colony. It was created with the aim of providing opportunities for free settlers and encouraging the development of more egalitarian society. The South Australian Company, under the leadership of Colonel William Lyatt, played a significant role in the establishment of the colony. They carefully planned the layout of the city, which became the capital and main settlement of South Australia. The colony faced its own set of challenges, including droughts, limited natural resources and conflicts with the Indigenous population. However, South Australia gradually grew. The first church established in South Australia was the Holy Trinity Church, commonly known as Holy Trinity Anglican Church. It is located in Adelaide, the capital city of South Australia. Holy Trinity Church was founded in 1836, the same year that the South Australian colony was established. The foundation stone for the church was laid in 1838 and the building was consecrated in 1840. The church was designed in a Gothic revival architectural style by English architect Richard Cockey Lucas. The establishment of the Holy Trinity Church marked the beginning of organised Christian worship in South Australia. It played a central role in providing spiritual support and a sense of community to the early settlers in the region. Today, Holy Trinity Church stands as an active Anglican parish and remains one of the oldest surviving buildings in Adelaide. It is recognised as an important historical and architectural site, representing the religious heritage of South Australia and the enduring presence of the Anglican Church in the state. St John's Anglican Church Richmond was established in 1836. It is located in the historic town of Richmond and is one of the oldest churches in Australia. It was the second church that was built in Van Diemen's Land. The third church to be built in Van Diemen's Land, Tasmania, was the Roman Catholic Church of St. Joseph. St. Joseph's Church was established in 1839, sorry, 1837, and is located in Hobart. It is one of the oldest Catholic churches in Australia and holds historical significance as part of Tasmania's early colonial heritage. The first Lutheran church established in Sydney, Australia, was the German Luther Church, also known as St. Paul's Lutheran Church. It was founded in 1838 to serve the growing German-speaking Lutheran community in the city. The church was initially located on Elizabeth Street and later moved to its current location on Druitt Street. The St. Paul's Lutheran Church played a vital role in preserving the German cultural heritage and providing a place of worship and community for German immigrants. The church church building features a distinctive blend of Gothic and Romanesque architectural styles, reflecting the historical significance and cultural heritage. The formation of the Lutheran Church can be traced back to the 16th century during the Protestant Reformation. It, It all began with the teachings and actions of Martin Luther, a German theologian and a professor. In 1517, Luther famously posted his 95 Theses on the door of the castle church in Wittenberg, criticising the the sale of indulgences by the Roman Catholic Church and sparking a movement for reform within Christianity. Luther's central teachings emphasise the doctrine of justification by faith alone, stating that humans are justified and saved solely by their faith in God's grace, not by their own works. This idea challenged the prevailing Catholic belief in the necessity of good deeds and sacraments for salvation. The Lutheran Church differed from the Reformed Churches, such as Calvinism and Zwingalism, in its understanding of the sacraments, particularly the Eucharist. Lutherans held to the belief in the real presence of Christ's body and blood in the bread and wine during the Eucharist, while the Reformed churches generally held a symbolic view. Luther's influence on the development of the Lutheran church was immense. His translation of the Bible into German made the scriptures 
more accessible to the common people and his hymns and catechisms became essential elements of Lutheran worship and instruction. Luther's theology and teaching attracted many followers and the Lutheran movement quickly spread throughout Germany and beyond. By the mid-16th century, Lutheran churches had been established in several European countries, including Sweden, Denmark and parts of Eastern Europe. The formation of the Lutheran Church led to significant religious and political changes, with numerous territories and regions adopting Lutheranism, Lutheranism as their state religion. The Peace of Augsburg in 1555 recognised the coexistence of Catholicism and Lutheranism in the Holy Roman Empire, making an important step towards religious tolerance and the recognition of Protestant denominations. Today, the Lutheran Church is one of the largest Protestant denominations worldwide with a strong presence in Europe, the Americas, Africa and Asia. Luther's impact on theology, education and the church's literature continues to be felt, making him one of the most influential figures in Christian history. The World's Lutheran Churches in America were formed in 1872 to 1963 as part of the Synodical Conference, gaining much of their theology from the Book of Concord, 1580. They believe in the full inspiration and inerrancy of Scripture for authority on of all matters of doctrine, the Trinity doctrine, the virgin birth and death and resurrection of Jesus, a literal hell, a literal devil as a being and the imminent return of Jesus. They are mainly a millennial in their eschatological beliefs. They also believe in only two sacraments, baptism, infant and communion. They use hymn books and liturgy, a literal six-day creation they believe in. They affirm the doctrine of original sin and they deny decisional theology, stating that faith comes from God and is given to man, um, not man making the decision to become a believer. They are different from Calvinism or or Reform Church's doctrine as they don't believe in the doctrine of total depravity or that people are predestined to hell. They differ, differ from the Reform Church in that they don't believe in limited atonement, Jesus dying only for the believers. They don't believe in entire sanctification, what the Wesleyans and Methodists later believed in, and others like them, believing that we have a body of sin and we won't be entirely sanctified until we get our glorified bodies. They don't believe in the gift of the Holy Spirit as a second blessing, evidenced by speaking in tongues, what most Pentecostals and Charismatics believe, and believe that there is no baptism beyond water baptism. They also believe that speaking in tongues is not normative for today. They are quite traditional in their beliefs around divorce, homosexuality and alcoholism, in keeping with most mainstream churches. Their style of leadership is mainly congregational, with some clergy set up in a function of pastor, teacher, etc., not necessarily an office. They don't seem to practice eldership, but they have one pastor or minister, but many deacons who are on the church staff. Doctrinally, doctrinal discipline is the responsibility of the district presidents and their assistants. They believe that the ministry officers and the various groupings in Jesus' name for the proclamation of his good news all lie in the same plane, and all the churches one and the same, and all Christians are equal before God, neither superior nor inferior to one another, and all are equally entrusted with the same ministry of the gospel. Hence, no one may assume the function of the public ministry except through a legitimate call. They don't believe that women can be in ministry where they rule over men, but they can do any of the ministry as long as they don't rule over men. We need to remember that 
particular, Lutheran churches have changed in their various doctrines, and now there is no set doctrine is for the Lutheran churches. This is a general guide.